subject of potential tax cuts in the upcoming budget was discussed at the Resolution Foundation event on the 21st of February. They discussed, of course, the size of the potential fiscal headroom, which we'll know a little more about at the time of the budget. Um, estimates vary between 13 billion and 20 odd billion, and the bigger it is, the more the tax cuts could be. What we know, I think, from what the Chancellor has been saying is that tax cuts would be directed at encouraging growth and aimed at employment. At the Resolution Foundation event, the discussion was around the likelihood of potentially unfreezing the personal allowance, which many thought unlikely, mostly because people still don't quite understand how that works and the general principle of stealth tax really. So focus was um, on a 1p cut in income tax as a potential, um, more likely a 1p cut in national insurance, employees, national insurance, particularly because that will be focused on people who are working to the employment um, aspiration. So, and not people who are in retirement, who are also getting a pretty significant increase to their state pension. So Resolution Foundation came down with, as well as saying, look, if we are going to have the non-increase in fuel duties, that will leave a certain amount of money available. And if it was going to go on income tax or national insurance, national insurance will be better targeted, given the aspiration to help employment, and would also be a little bit cheaper. Now, of course, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, to, as to what we actually get, but that was quite an interesting indication of some of the options open to the Chancellor. We'll be doing all we can to keep you on track with and up to date with developments as they go forward towards the budget.